Thursday matinee card at Rito Carlton Raceway highlighted 10 races of action packed racing with trainer Mandy Archer having 11 horses entered in the 10 race program. Now let's take a look at the action. Acapello still with a short lead. Dry Creek Image nose to helmet second. KJ Allison third on the outside. Salutations in fourth. Stolen Secrets comes out from fifth with an eighth of a mile to go. Macapello will try to close it out from here. Heading to the inside passing lane comes Dry Creek Image. K. Allison, up, K. J. Allison is on the outside. Macapello with a length lead. It's going to be Macapello in front. Dry Creek Image second. Salutation came late for third in 156 and two. Macapello, the race one winner. He's an 11 year old big gelded son of Mach three out of Capello Rose by Cam Luck. Trainer John McMillan co-owns with a numbered Ontario corporation owned by Colleen and Glenn Pearson. The winning drive to Richard Simard. That makes 5,923 wins for the veteran Simard. He guided Macapello to victory in 156 and 2. 28 and 3, 57 and 4, 126 and 4, the mile 156. Impulse from second, money earned. Reddit Hanover is closing from third. Taskbar Hanover needs to do more from fourth. Inside and fifth, Michelle Z. Tam. There's an eighth of a mile to go. PH Impulse spins off the turn, opens a quick three, maybe four, and he's expanding that margin, coming for the payoff. It's all PH Impulse. Impressive in victory. Wins it by three, money earned. Second, tight for show. Michelle Z. Tam nails third on the line in 155 and 3. One PH Impulse, the winner. He's a big gelding, three years old by Mach 3 out of Hot Butter by Northern Luck. Owned by Dr. R. James Shive. Trained by Mandy Archer. The winning drive to Pascal Barube. PH Impulse wins his fourth of the year. Today's mile 155 and 3. 28, 57, and 3, 126, and 3. The mile 155 and 3, PH Impulse in race 2. No one has tested GA Speed Joey yet. Still a comfortable looking two length lead. Deja Vu seals her from second. Larry is Debs Rock getting closer third. Journalistic has had a great trip from fourth and heads inside with an eighth to pace. GA Speed Joey. Deja Vu seals her way out wide. Here comes Keystone Nolan. It's GA Speed Joey to win it. Finishing second, Deja Vu seals her. Journalistic third in 155 and 3. 3 GA Speed Joey the winner. GA Speed Joey is a big gelding three years old by Better Than Cheddar out of JM Chicago by Art Major. Owned by Alain Carrier. Trained by Yves Tessier. Driven to victory by Pascal Perube. Perube has doubled up already on the card. He won the second with PH Impulse. Comes back with GA Speed Joey here. Congratulations to winning groom Jessica Turgeon. GA Speed Joey, the winner in 155 and 3. 27 and 4, 58, 127 and 1, the mile 155 and 3. On the final track, SOS Justified takes over the lead. Raising a rocket, second on the outside. Zenda Valley Keel is third. Mock Messier wants out very badly. Has less than an eighth of a mile to make up three. Here they come for home. Richard Samard, Raising a Rocket, has taken the lead. Raising a Rocket, SOS Justified. On the outside, always your way, but it's Raising a Rocket giving Samard the double on the card. SOS Justified, second. Always Your Way was third in 154 and 3. 5 2. Your Superfecta in the fourth. Four Raisin a Rocket, the winner. 
A Bay Mare Six Years Old by Matt a Rocket out of All American Orchid by Camlock. The winning owner trainer is Robert Bernicki, Richard Samard, the winning driver. For the Black Cat, that's his second winner on the card. He guided Raisin a Rocket to victory in 154 and 3. That's a new season's best. 28 and 1, 56 and 4, 125 and 3. The mile, 154 and 3. And it's Thundering Jim clinging to life and a short lead. Salzbrook Lanny is second on the outside. Passionate Prince is right there third. Watching Uber Hanover. Rodney LaFramboise kicks this one into full flight with an eighth of a mile to go. Salzbrook Lanny takes over from Thundering Jim. Way out wide. Uber Hanover coming for the payoff. Uber Hanover comes right on pass to win it. Finishing second, Salzbrook Lanny. Thundering Jim third. Passionate Prince fourth and 154. Five and four. Number one, Uber Hanover, the race five winner. A brown gelding, five years old by Dragon again, out of up front rows by Western Hanover. Owned by Fanny Saul Beaulieu, trained by Jean Beaulieu, Rodney Laframboise, the winning driver. Uber Hanover in 155 and four, 27 and four, 56 and four, 126, the mile 155 and four. <laughs> On the final turn, Bet him on the River is still the leader. Bumble, Baby and Me in with a shot from second. Oh, Baby, we found love third on the outside. Here comes Pretty Blue Angel. Ryan Guy cuts her loose down the center of the racetrack. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Bet him on the River opens to two. Bet him on the River. Here comes Bumble, Baby and Me. Bumble, Baby and Me. Bet him on the River. Bet him on the River. Bumble, Baby and Me. Bet him on the River. Holds on to win it. Bumble Baby and Me second. Pretty Blue Angel close to be third in 157 and 1. The winner of the sixth race, number four, Bet him on the River. A Bay Philly, three years old by Riverboat King. The last full out of Good Producing Mare, Bet him Amanda by Justice Denied. This one was bred by Jeff Lilly, who co-owns with D. Blair McLaughlin. And E. Ted Mahar. Along with Laura Godley. Bet him on the river, paced the mile in 157 and 1. For driver Pascal Barube, who picks up his third winner on the card, congratulations to new trainer Mandy Archer. Bet him on the river. Paced fractions of 28 and 1, 58 and 1, 128 the mile, 157 and 1. <laughs> of them across the racetrack. Prince Giovanni from widest of all. Wildcat Cam is still there. Barn one in between pacers watching State News and Rubba the Green who are live turning for home. Prince Giovanni takes over the lead. Fighting back is Wildcat Cam way outside. Here comes Rubba the Green with the most pace coming for the wire watching Rub of the Green. Rubba the Green on the outside. Look to nose out Wildcat Cam and a charge Jan's legacy in 156 and 1. For Rub of the Green, the winner. A nine year old Bay Gelding by Mach 3, out of Hi Ho Silver Lining by Badlands Hanover. Owned and trained by Luc Loyer, driven to victory by Tyler Jones. Rub of the Green in 156 and 1, 27 and 3, 57 and 3, 126 and 3. The mile 156 and 1, Rub of the Green and Jones take the shot. The final turn, batting stats, still the one to take down. Orley's Pride is pulling the pocket early. Here comes Angel's Kid moving well for the stretch drive. There's an eighth of a mile to go. The two favorites are together once again. Batting stats in the inside, Orley's Pride on the outside. Up the inside, late trot from Soundtrack coming for the wire. Soundtrack is flying, but is it too late? Batting Stats holds on to win it in 158 and 4. Batting Stats, the eighth race winner. A five year old brown gelding by Encore Encore out of Batting Lashes by Tom Ridge.
Owned and trained by Mandy Archer. Mandy has already sent out three winners today. Congratulations, Mandy. And her driver, Pascal Barube, notches his fourth today with batting stats. The mile won 58 and 4. 29 and 4, a minute and 1, 129 and 3, the mile 158 and 4. Batting stats in Barube. It's Ed's idea. Brasso still has his hands full of horse. Second to the outside, Ben and Vicky won't go away. Arithmogenic is sent up three wide for the stretch drive. Shrimp and Grits is there as well, watching for a late closing bid from Lil Mo Money. Coming for the payoff, Ben and Vicky on the inside. It's Ed's idea. Ben and Vicky has the deep stretch lead. Ben and Vicky, Arithmogenic to decide it. Ben and Vicky holds on to win it. Arithmogenic second, it's Ed's idea third third in 155 and three. Three Arithmogenic, the ninth race winner. A Bay Mare, four years old by Better Than Cheddar, out of Stupid Cupid by Mach 3. Owned, trained, and driven to victory by Dan St. Pierre. Arithmogenic in 155 and three. 27 and two, 57 and one, 125 and four, the mile 155. <laughs> They're on the final turn with the lead, Stony Curtis. Here comes Cheeky Babe, fresh up and driving from third. And now second, Rain Man Blue Chip is there in third. Magnus Seelster comes to the outside with an eighth of a mile to go. It's Stony Curtis's race to win or lose from here. Cheeky Babe is bearing down on him, coming for the payoff. Stony Curtis and Cheeky Babe will decide it. Cheeky Babe on the outside, Stony Curtis at the rail. Cheeky Babe and Stony Curtis are under the wire together. Magnus Seelster third, Rain Man Blue Chip fourth in 156 and four. Cheeky Babe, the 10th race winner. She's a two year old daughter of Better's Delight out of Twin Bee Cheeks by Sports Writer. She's owned by Acury CSL and Gaston Bibo, trained by Eric Milo. Very well driven to victory by Dan Laflamme. Cheeky Babe wins her fifth consecutive race. Tonight's mile 156 and 4, 28 and 2, 57 and 4, 127. The mile in 156 and 4. Cheeky Babe and Dan Laflamme take it. Good night for driver Pascal Barabe as he won four races and got three of those victories with Mandy Archer trainees. Don't forget, Sunday night, first post time, 6.30, highlighted by the $7,000 claiming series final for a purse of over $22,000.